Alfred Telefero, Mr. Telefero TV. All right, what's up, guys? I get it. I get it. A lot of people get off work, and they're checking their media outlets, and, and hopefully I'm one of those outlets that they check, and they want to be in tune. They're getting off work from long days, picking up kids. They in the gym. Y'all want to be in tune, and y'all want me to tell y'all what did you miss, right? And I got you. I'm trying to do the best I can. And a lot of these people that I'm that I bring up, people don't know who the hell they are. So it's my job to try to catch you up on who these guys are. All right? I'll try to do that with this guy. I'm going to give you a little breakdown on this a white guy. White male, probably 30, 35 years old, Martin Screlly. All right? If you need a link to a Martin Screlly interview, I guess I could post one in the comment section. I'm not sure. It's not that important to be honest with you to be even talking about guy's name is Martin Screlly. He's a clown. I mean, honestly, he's a clown. If I'm not mistaken, I think he bought, he's rich. He has, uh, he's very rich and he wants in hip hop in the worst way possible. He wants to be relevant in hip hop so bad. So he does stupid shit to try to find a way into the culture because the culture don't want a white privileged male in it, period. That's who this guy is. That's what he does. And he has no impact in the culture whatsoever, right? That's to make a long story short about who he's. I ain't gonna get into. I don't know the guy, but I just, he's a clown. He, he's trying to find a way into a culture. A, the culture don't want him. That's the best way I can explain who the hell this dude is. He want to be cool so damn bad. So he's going out buying projects. I think he might have bought the Wu Tang album and he was gonna leak it, or it might have been Wu Tang. I think it was. He bought an album, all right, and he, he tried to leak it and everything else. Um. He's he's privileged, bro. It, it just it's just privilege at its finest. Thinking that people will want to fuck with you, or knowing you, it, it's just privilege, bro. It, it, it's all privilege. And with that being said, I think people thought this dude was joking. All right, he got his hands on the card of five. Martin Shkreli has I I can tell you for a fact at least seventy five percent. I'm convinced that he has the entire card of five album. How he got this album, I do not know. All I do know is I would bet on the fact that it didn't leak from Lil Wayne. That's all I could say. How he got the Carter, he has the Carter 5 album, y'all. He played a couple tracks on a live stream, a record with Kendrick. That wasn't all that. That's just my opinion. But he, he has the Carter 5 album. The one that we all want. A white 30, 35 year old man has the album out of, out of everybody. So Birdman can't put it out, but the irony is that a white man has put out more records than Birdman has on the card of five. He has it, period. And it's so funny because you would think that the leak would happen, have to happen on Birdman's side, right? That's somewhere down the line, somebody dropped the ball. If, if, okay, so. Is we're either looking at one or two things because Wayne said he ain't give the whole project to Birdman. So maybe it was Wayne's leak. I find it hard to believe. I think somebody in Cash Money had to have the album. I don't know if somebody got paid off. That's what it seemed like it is. Somebody dropped the ball and now Martin Shkreli has the album. He's leaked two songs. He's starting to leak more if he wants to. He's trying to create the most attention he can around his name and whatever hip hop brand he wants to try to form. I don't understand him. Um... With that being said, Lil Wayne has now entered legal matters against Martin Shkreli, and I don't blame him one bit. Lil Wayne and his legal team has told Martin Shkreli, um, pretty much, next time you leak a track, you'll get a big ass lawsuit. As a matter of fact, hand over the damn album if you have it. Quit playing, all right? His lawyers and Universal Music fired off a cease and desist letter after Skrilly, you know, I told you again, he dropped two tracks from Carter Five. Everybody wants this damn album, and Martin Skrilly has it, all right? Um, he played those records around Christmas time, and I, I think a lot of people thought this was just a fib. It didn't create the, uh, the uproar that Martin Skrilly thought it would, but he did his damage and Lil Wayne obviously this is confirming to us that that, that really was the card of five Martin Scully really has this project and Wayne's like look the next time you do this you will get a lawsuit and hand over the card of five 
and we figure out that you're playing more music or selling it or doing whatever, we're taking your ass to court. We don't know how you got your hands on this project, but you're paying, playing records. You're messing with my money. I'm fighting for this album, and you're just leaking songs off of it. Next time, you're going to court. I have absolutely no idea how this album leaked, but again, going back to what we said earlier, it had to be somebody in that inner circle between Wayne's Cap and Birdman's Cap and Cash Money that leaked this album to Martin Scurley. There's no other way, or maybe you think a hack happened. I, I don't know. I don't know. This guy's a smart dude, but I don't know if we're going to give him that kind of credit to say he hacked in somewhere to find a Carter Five. All right? Again, Martin Scurley, Cease and Desist, ordered by Lil Wayne's team and Universal Music. You play another record off that Carter Five, we coming for your head top. So watch how you speak on my name, you know? Thank you for the time, love, support. I don't take it for granted. Salute. I'm out. If you're looking to book me for an interview video or by phone, if you're looking to have your music or your skill featured on my daily podcast, if you're looking to book me for a speaking engagement to help motivate some kids, if you're looking to have me rock some of your clothing to help promote your brand, make sure you hit me up at booking at Again, that's booking at